Well, this was certainly one of my favorite stories as a child. Uh, Charlotte's Web, a lot of you at home I know probably loved that book as well. Author E.B. White, who has main ties, would have been 120 years old today. Author Melissa Sweet joins us now to talk about her connection to the E.B. White family yes. uh, through your own work as well. So tell us about some writer. So, some writer came about because I wanted to create another biography for young readers, and I thought, who is the quintessential subject? And E.B. White came to my mind, and I said, oh, E.B. White, he was some writer. So I had my idea, and I had my title right away. And I was not um, an authority on E.B. White in any way. I had his book of letters, Strunk and White's Elements of Style, and of course had read his children's books. But from there, I began researching and I got in touch with the White family to be sure this was going to be okay. I, I knew I wanted to use archival photographs, quotes by White. I wanted the book to be for young readers so that they could learn that E.B. White wrote much more than the three children's books we know him for and that all of it is accessible to pretty much any age I'd say. And we were just talking about before we came on that uh, he's actually a New Yorker uh, by birth but uh, had a farm in Maine that he loved. Uh, do you think some of that came out in, in the writing? Absolutely. It, it, yes. The farm uh, influenced and fed the writing for sure, especially Charlotte's Web because that, that came about because he had a pig who died and he saw the birth of a spite um, excuse me, he saw that a spider spinning a spider's web. And those two things became the genesis of, of Charlotte's Web. So it was, yeah, the farm, the farm was the influence for sure, Inspira inspiration I should say, yes. Speaking of inspiration, our last question that we have time for here. As a writer yourself, what sort of inspiration can other writers pull from the works of E.B. White? Wow, I would say read everything he wrote. He was a wordsmith, he was spare and to the point with a lot of humor, and I think you can have an entire writing class just by reading his work. Awesome. Yeah. Melissa, thank you so much for being with thank us you. today. We appreciate it on this, what yes. would have been a 120th birthday celebration. Thank we you. appreciate it. Uh, All right. I look forward to reading that to Luca. I've got yeah. a little guy. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, it's Aww. like one of those classic ones, right? 